Smell that? That's freedom. Huh? What? I look like a bartender? Take it from me someplace else. It's my favorite. Excuse me. Can I help you? Come with me. There's something you need to see. Uh-huh. Sure. I know a scam when I see one. Hey. There's something you want? Never mind. Okay. Look. I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door, okay? Get the hell out. I'm glad you're here. We've been having some trouble with raiders. Tell me what's going on. They showed up in force a few days ago. There were too many of them. We had to give them what they wanted. They said as long as we kept paying them tribute, they'd leave us alone. At least we know where they're hiding out. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks. It will be a relief not to have to worry about them. Nothing there now.
personal. Just you and me. Something, idiot! Come back! I was having fun! What you got left in you?
Just getting warmed up over here. sign of them now. What the fuck was that?
Hey there. So can we stop worrying about paying tribute to those raiders? They won't be bothering you again. Thanks. It's good to know we can count on you guys when we're in trouble. Spill it. So, you ready? Remember that settlement that was asking for help? All safe and sound again. Good. This is how we're gonna take back the Commonwealth. One small victory at a time. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. What's so important? Yes, that's right. Splendid. Well, let me be the first to welcome you to your new assignment. Once you've had a chance to get settled in, you should report to the director. His office is located in the statue in the center of the plaza. The Galleria is currently closed to the public, but staff and employees are permitted on the grounds, of course. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to assist you. What is this place? The General Atomics Galleria is the shopping center of tomorrow today. Our wide array of stores are staffed entirely by the General Atomics line of robots, showcasing the reliability and versatility of a robotic workforce. Come in and experience the General Atomics difference. Who's the director? General Atomics patented Director Management System, DMS, is responsible for coordinating the actions of the robots here at the Galleria. The Director allows the Galleria to operate autonomously, without the need for human intervention. Why is the Galleria closed? I'm sorry, but due to pending litigation, I am unable to comment. Please direct your inquiries to the General Atomics Legal Affairs Division. That's all. Very well. Enjoy your visit. Remember, 
Not a criminal. And what are you? Vandal? Mercenary? Communist? Wait, the grand reopening? Are you grand reopening supervisor 18 Alpha? You're late. Yes? Yes, that's right. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication. So I'm going to need to see your ID. Sir. What ID? Explanation issued. This is a threat. Present your ID! Uh, here. Scanning. Deception detected. You are warned. Ready to capture <laughs> you, cubby son of a bitch! Who's there? in there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in the shadows. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Now don't start talking crazy. 
Terminal's got this locked. What the? Huh? It <sighs> shook up over nothing. Everything's starting to sound like footsteps mm -hmm. these days. You sure you saw something? What the? What? Down already, asshole!
Got it. I know you're here. I'll find you. Come on out. I'll make it. Ah! Bow you so <laughs> Getting tired yet? Ah!
Pam wants you. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Augusta's safe house was destroyed by the Institute. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. Hard to imagine. I have nothing further for you at the moment. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of fires to be put out. Use the back entrance. Too much traffic through the church and we'll burn this hideout. The Glad you signed on. Hill and hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. Take the occasional night it's my keep envious it job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. That can be an important job. Yeah, right. I can be replaced by a stupid chalkboard. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. I think Whitechapel Charlie's got some work if you look. He's down in the third rail. Here for Amara? She's downstairs. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're in the railroad. What's this all about? We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Hmm. 
Nick's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Any idea what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! California Republican. All five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment, we are... I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but, uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Dad was either drunk or not around. 
I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is, you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand. That's what happiness felt like. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around, looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory.
How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm all even then. I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. 
least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had, but no one's ever done this before. How do you feel? 
I have this burning feeling inside my skull. It's like it's on fire. That's not surprising. All the synapses in your brain have just been pulled apart, connected to someone else, and then pulled back together. I injected you with a large stim pack while I was pulling you out. That should ease things. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. W Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. We have to head into the Glowing Sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. That or you could buy up all the Rad-X and Rad-Away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Don't ask questions in good neighbor. Better for everyone that way. This is Better an emergency broadcast. Friendly advice. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Yeah? Ada, loop this message. Yes, sir.
I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Thanks to your timing, my diagnostics show only superficial damage. I wish I could say the same for my late friends. What kind of robot are you? I am heavily modified, but at my core, I am an Assaultron. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vocal registry to express my gratitude. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there.
terminal's gotta be somewhere.
It's on. Did you retrieve something from that robot? It had this strange device on it. Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo-brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. <sighs> Are you sure? While there's only a 78.3% chance that I'm correct, I'd like to point out that it's the only lead we have. Let's just hope it's safe. I share your sentiment. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. is a powerful tool, allowing even the simplest of minds to create complex robots. A proper mismanning unit must be able to identify the needs of our charges. Please assess the state of the crying child and fulfill its needs.
sorry. Could've just run. Wait. Another admirer comes to see me. Atomics Galleria remains closed by order of the director. Can I help you? I'm not a criminal. Then what are you? Vandal? Mercenary? Communist? Wait, the grand reopening? Are you grand reopening Supervisor 18 Alpha? You're late. It's something like that. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication. So I'm going to need to see your ID. Sir. Here. Scanning. ID confirmed. Happy 275th birthday, Mr. Kincaid. Please accept a small token of appreciation for your years of dedicated service. Accessing protocols. All units, stand by for the grand reopening. Processing firmware updates. Done. Reinstating combat inhibitors. Done. Designating new facility supervisor. Done. The General Atomics Galleria is now open for business! 
As the grand reopening supervisor, you will be conducting tonight's customer appreciation raffle. Here is the grand prize. That'll be all, soldier. Dismiss! General Atomics, the world leader in consumer robotics. Our dependable line of Mr. Handy household robots will free you from the drudgery of housework forever. From chores to childcare, errands to entertaining, no task is too big for Mr. Handy to handle. And our models are legendary for their reliability and durability. Proper servicing, your Mr. Handy can last a lifetime. For military clients, General Atomic is proud to offer our Mr. Galaxy We got customers in coming! Heads up. Yeah, here you are. I hope these help. Heads up. I, how may I be of service, sir? Time for you to leave. I hope I've done nothing to offend you, sir. Have a pleasant journey. Don't worry. We'll keep the Pridman running at this efficiency. I expect a full report on your findings. I have a situation I need to report. All right. I'm listening. I found a group of escaped synths. All right. You have my attention. Tell me everything you know. There's a synth calling itself Dima, gathering followers in Acadia. It's renamed itself? You mean, it's acting autonomously? What are you going on about? Acadia has been turned into a fortified location, hiding escaped synths. They're actively defending themselves, in other words. I'm starting to see why you brought this to me. What else can you tell me? They're growing in number. More synths are being brought in regularly. So this isn't a problem we can allow to continue. All right, I've heard enough. You were right to bring this to my attention. I'll see that the matter is raised with Elder Maxon as soon as possible. If he wants to eradicate this menace, we'll need time to refit vertebrates for extended flight. I'll get the crews to work. In the meantime, 
Any additional intelligence you can gather will help ensure that the action we take is precise and coordinated. Do not engage these synths until we're prepared. Understood? Vertibird docking systems and fusion coolant feed systems reporting green.